Yeah. Hello. Hi. Oh, Did we tell out. Yeah, Did we she's tell like, start without them? me. Okay. Hey, everybody. So now is our after show discussion. So mm. make sure to leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. As yeah. opposed to the other comment. Comment place. section. Yeah. And if we'll you're doing make, your bullshit section, we don't. We don't. Yeah, we're not there. doing that. No. Go troll someone else. So I'll make sure to respond to them. Is what I was trying to finish the sentence. Oh yes, he uh, will. Sorry. All right. So our initial reaction to just I just want we're gonna go down the line. Let's okay. name ourselves. Roll call. Initial reaction. No, just roll call. Andrew. Oh, roll call. Oh, Mark. I'm Andrew. Targaryen. Shit, no, this is tar- this is not my wine glass. It's not oh, your glass. <laughs> <laughs> I am not trying to edit this for Anyway, Okay, start I'm over. Mark. Start over again. Roll call. I'm Andrew. Mark. Could he still? The stealer hate. of wine glasses. Zach. All right, so oh, oh, that I want to go down there. the line, and let's do initial reactions to Taboo. Just give us a one or two, just a thumbs up, thumbs down. Andrew. Too soon to tell. <clears throat> I, I'm i interested. I am intrigued, but yes, I agree. A little too soon to tell what's really going on. Ooh, I'm going to go have these. I'm excited. <laughs> Tom Hardy's on the show. Yeah. You really uh, don't so care what I'm of, So uh, we're going to do this a little different. If you watch our videos and our after shows, we're going to do this a little bit different way than we used to. Yes. Katie's not doing all the work, and we're just sitting back and relaxing. So the first scene... Uh, we, it, Tom Hardy is introduced to yeah. us, mm-hmm. and he's burying something, which I think we later find out is gold. Yeah. Does anybody have anything we, to we, say? We about find out later. He never went back to it. Yeah, no, did. no, we, we did. Yeah. Did he? Okay. Or not? No. We don't, don't know what he buried then, according to. I, don't know, I think kind of the whole like first half <clears throat> of the episode, we didn't really know anything though. So, going. but we do know we're in London in eighteen fourteen. Yeah. And I think the and, first kind of overarching thing we encounter is he encounters a dead body he takes the things off the eyes yes. and right. he goes it was to his a funeral dad. and we think we believe that it's his father and his sister is at there. the time his half sister yeah but the thing is <clears throat> later on we find out my question is what brought him back from Africa because he <laughs> says he could hear his dad calling from him from the shore but yeah. he also said at one point when he got on the boat he just heard that he was sick so maybe okay. he was told that his father was sick, and so he came back. Back, yeah. Which is a possibility. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So know. he gets to the funeral. So then they go to a funeral, right? Yes. And they find out. We, we then discovered that it was his dad, and that he has some relatives there mm-hmm. who assumed that he was dead, dead because he was in a shipwreck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Which, uh, it's very possible that he just happened to survive. He just maybe got in a boat. Well, and not this whole, oh, I, I died and went to the other world and came back. I think right. there's some guilt <clears throat> involved with that shipwreck. Possibly, oh, but he I, also... Okay. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I definitely think, because he he keeps having these visions, yeah. and a lot of them are people in a boat drowning yeah. under under the... Under and he the was hammering, he was like nailing it close. Yeah. Yeah. Under the deck, they're reaching through the deck to try and get out, and they're drowning. Well, I mean, but he also told, because I mean, they, they said at the funeral, I thought you were dead. He's like, I am dead. So I'm yeah. wondering if he died and made a deal with the devil or something. Or if he's like, just a dick of, like, undead <clears throat> inside. Like, no, but the dude, <laughs> but he that is a out, possibility. Is he the undead? I don't, I mean, I think. I'm, I'm predicting predictions. I'm predicting he actually died and made a deal with some kind of entity. Higher being. Okay. He got sent back to do to make sure to something do something in or Vancouver to, uh, tie up loose ends. That seems awfully supernatural to me. I think this I is think going. He, he feel like is he's been reborn. Like he like sank off the coast of Africa. He washed ashore and like a tribe like remade him. Oh, oh so they I pulled think, a Jon Snow. Well, because he said he's able to talk to the dead. I think either way, this well, show think, is going to be more yeah, supernatural. Yeah, and he like those voodoo magic. Yes, I think it's going yeah. to be way and more who, supernatural. We don't know who that lady in the river is. She looks like some kind of. <laughs> I think the lady in the river is his mother. Possible. I'm confused. Well, I can get to our confusions later. So, uh, scene two. He's in the alley. He meets the lawyer. They Thoit. go. To, they go to Thoit. They go to a Thoit. pub. He finds out he has the lamp. <clears throat> 
He owns all the land. He has all this money. We find out he has money. He has his own, own money. His Unrelated. Own money. He has his own land, but he has inherited, or he has his own money. Money, but, but he, he has inherited, inherited the land. land. Which the From East India Trading Company really, really wants. Which really his sister reason. already negotiated. So, were negotiated and practically sold to them already. Yeah. Because they we thought he was dead. Had the right to sell it. Right. Uh, oh. So we find that out, and then we also find out, I, th- I believe, that he's in love with this woman, who we assume is his stepsister, half sister, sister, which is grosser. Uh, half sister. Because first his father we bought do- his mother from uh, the Canadian tribe. Right. Yeah. And then she went crazy, so they committed her to Bedlam, and then he had a second wife, but that would probably be Una's mother. Yes. Okay. Sure. Yeah. When they're well, we know they're related somehow. Yeah. By their dad. They're related by their dad. Yeah. Yeah, they have the same <clears> dad. <throat> um, and then we go, and then we find out his name is James Delaney. James, what is his Kaziah. name? Kaziah. Kaziah. Kaziah Delaney. And then the next scene, scene, what was it, scene three, we go to the trading company, and we just meet a bunch of twats, talking bunch about... Of twats. A dick. Just talking about how rich they are, and how they're they, gonna... Hey, we're we're, we're snooty rich <laughs> British. And how they're gonna screw him out of his land. The cursed United... I love that, how the they cursed? call it the cursed United States. Right, they yeah. practically just set them up, I, I think, as the villains of the... Yes, absolutely. Pretty they're much. The, they're the villains. Yeah. They're the, oh, the so masterminds yeah. who are gonna get nowhere, clearly. Yeah. They're, yeah. Not, they're not gonna get the 100%. land. I well, think, they probably won't be like the overall <laughs> villain because it seems like there's other things, but they're certainly going to well, be. I, an, well, they're, they're certainly antagonists. Yeah, yes. I mean, they're going to pay henchmen to try to kill him to get the rights to go back to the sister. Clearly, that's their motive at mm-hmm. the end of the show. Yeah. Um, scene four. Uh, oh, he goes back to his his dad's uh, mansion. I guess is he break into the mansion? No, he had a key. His key, yeah. and then he, he, meets, he found his men uh, servant. Well, his name was Brace. Brace. Brace, yeah, and apparently they have a history together. And Brace took care or just lived with his dad. Took care. He, well, he probably uh, took care. I mean, well, it sounded like he was sick and he was when, crazy. Someone had to have taken of, care. Throughout the episode, we hear that his father was mad towards the end. Yes, right. Um, and so that's kind of a big thing that's mentioned, like a bunch. Oh, he's crazy! Is that crazy he dead. was mad towards the yeah. end? Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of a big deal. Which now then we find out is due probably to the poison. Poisoning. Yes. And this is the scene where we find out that Our his son. mother is not, his mother was from the Americas. Nuka, yeah. yeah. She was And bought. probably was a native of she that was, tribe. They say that Nuka Sound, that was his mother's tribe. Right. And yeah. her name was Salisha? Sal- Salish. Yeah, and and Anna. 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 And then he says Salisha. Or Salisha. And then he has, we see the first scary vision of of, was it a woman? Yeah, woman in the river, woman. In the, yeah, but painted yeah. white. She it looked like a drowned white. corpse. She looked kind of scaly though yeah. to me. Almost I think it was She was a, a magic voodoo woman. You think so? Yeah. It looked like cracked. I mean, maybe that's yeah, what people like. Cracked like cracked that's yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked yeah. like scales. It looked like cracked. Okay, paint. but she did not yeah, look. Cracked, she did crack face paint. She did look like um, an easygoing figure. No. She wasn't like Mary Poppins. She wasn't a friendly ghost. Let me no. just put it like that. So, and he also seemed a little troubled Jasper by it. Wasn't in this like it wasn't like a okay, like oh hi mom. Yeah. You know, one of those. He didn't want the vision. Right. No, he didn't want. I thought that was. I thought that was weird. Outside. Star Wolf. Star Wolf. So. Scene five. Yes, Dookie. Hey. We oh scene five is when we go he goes to the whore, he goes to the whorehouse yeah right. we meet Helga so he's basically going around London yeah Helga's meeting right now the days. whorehouse were the offices that his father had rights to yes right so what he's basically doing is going around Lo- going around London just checking out scoping out his father's his assets right yes basically. yeah 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 and so they had he had mentioned to Brace. Doesn't matter anything. He mentioned to Brace that his father had other ledgers, but they had been burned. Yes. I yes. Think, I think. You think the father knew about this whorehouse? Oh, I think. Is he making money on oh, the side? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I don't. Uh, no, because the thing was named think after she, him. I think she was paying his father. She offered him the same Okay. Deal. Okay. Oh, that cut. she offered that him. Was the question. Like, I'll yeah. give you half. That was the question I had. And sex. Right. Right. Yeah. But she just wanted to have sex with Tom. Well, okay, well, who doesn't? Get in line. Get in line. Yeah. Right? Starts uh, here. Yeah, start. 
Oh, uh, or we could start here. <laughs> I mean, I'm so, so I can start there. <laughs> um, I'll join. So there is a whorehouse. Wow, really? I'm and really... he ba- so so. Uh, anyway, sorry, my question is, I, guess, I well, I guess he doesn't ask your question. I guess that Tom, I guess that James doesn't have any need for money. I'm so sorry, he has, I think he doesn't care. So he doesn't about have that. any need to. Well, I think keep these this whorehouse running. What? No, so he, he just kicks them out. Money. I mean, you're right. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't have a need for it. Do you think there's something there in also, those he offices needs, that he, needs, he needs, needs cleared out so he can? He went to the offices to find something. something. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's something there that he needs. So he needed them all. I don't know out. if he doesn't like whores in particular. No, I think it's or, something that he was looking I think for. He's cleaning house. All right, but he can't. I don't know she's like, I've got there. men with knives and ropes. And he's like, bitch, you really want to you, you really want to keep talking? Yeah. That's when we had testicle difficulty. That's, that's, that's what I wrote down. He's like, I will boil them and send them to you. Yes. He said, you send me 12 men, I'll send you 12 sets of testicles. And then I'm going to cut off your trotters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> trotters. So trotters, trotters we're are. not sure what trotters are. We're, we we're voting. Trotters. Well, right. think about it. Maybe it's because they go... Boop, 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 She's married to Dick Face. Yeah. Yep. Let's call him and Dick Face. They, We're gonna call him Dick, Dick Face. Face. And they have a little discussion. She Dick. and uh, she I believes. Think I think Trotters that, might have been referred to. He might have cut her feet off. That's what I said. Uh, I said feet the whole time. That makes more sense. She might miss you her did. feet more than her. Because a trotter it refers to a horse, a person who moves briskly, or the foot of an animal. Okay. Oh. Especially a sheep or pig. That would make sense. So, uh, okay, so in the next scene, all right, Kate, all right. It sets up that she. I think this is important. May not be important. Right. I'm gonna. I wrote it down. Mm-hmm. Save it for later. But she pricked herself and she bled. Yeah, no, I agree. So, why would you do that in storytelling? Why would she just have randomly prick herself and bleed? Like that's, because it looks ominous. That's not important, right? Uh-huh. So, Maybe. I I think that's she's human compared to I'm thinking her brother who is dead who will not bleed. Yeah. Later in the series. Okay. I don't know. Well, I don't know. We we haven't had a chance to find out. We don't know yet. Tom Hardy we don't know yet. Needs. So we don't know the supernatural nature. Of... Right. But then she has a little spat with her husband, Dickface, about yes. basically saying, telling him, "You don't run shit around here." Yeah, you don't. And I feel like now we know, like she didn't marry him out of love. She married him out of convenience or security yeah. or. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like she has a lot of other friends well, and relatives. Told her brother, so, she's no. happily married. Yeah. She, uh, yeah, uh, um, she went. That could be playing she hard. She went to out get. of her way to say yeah. happily. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, well, she doesn't want to like. Off. She can't like come out with it because they are half brother and sister. Yeah, half. And that would be taboo. Oh, so, drinking. Yeah, drinking yeah, going to drink that. Uh, so <laughs> I know they never said the word taboo. taboo they never though. haven't said it yet. Uh, and then in scene seven, he goes. They dig up his father. Yeah. From the Wait, grave. Have we? I feel like we skipped over the beach. Son, brother. No, I'm getting there. Okay. Half brother, son or brother. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, and Sorry. so scene seven, they dig up dad from the grave. Yep. We're all like, what's going all on? Autopsy. And they do an autopsy, and they find out that he was poisoned he was with arsenic. Being poisoned for a with a system that had not been invented for another 12, 15 years. Yeah. That's so beside that. the point. But that thank you for that point. piece. But of we found out it's arsenic. Well, it was very big for Crystal. So. I mean, well, we're never. Mind. He, it's not was like Google it, and I googled it. So the important yes. fact is, we find out his father had been but it's fine. poisoned. For a long period of time, yeah. right? No, no, no. They said they there was high doses oh, over a short period. They used to find out that think, he was poisoned with arsenic, down. but it was a it was a thick arsenic mirror, yeah. and so it was a large amount over a short period of time, yeah. which would have caused. Keep talking about the, arsenic. I'm gonna go touch the camera. Great. Yeah. Touch Wh- which daddy, is why he which is probably why he was mad. It could have caused the madness. Yeah. Because I mean, a short period of time could have been weeks or months. Yes. I mean, as opposed to... Well, well no, if they're saying years, short, yeah. then it probably would be something like days to weeks. I as, don't and, know. No, 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 not months, because months would be... 
consider it. For, for arsenic poisoning, it's like, I mean, it... You got a lot of, yeah. you got a lot of experience? In it? Tell us down in the comments Apparently. how you like to take your arsenic. Do you like it in a long period of time or a short period of time? I like it sprinkled no, with powdered I, sugar. Okay, there I was go. trying not to say that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're theater nerds, everybody. No, a short period of time in high doses would refer to days or weeks. Yes. Okay. Right, so so we find that out. Well, while we, before we find out, he was in the hallway... And he started having these visions of all of the bodies. Coming. All of the bodies. Like, he was pulling the. Well, I think he was trying to find out who was talking to him. Because oh. he was having this particular vision that we had, the second time we saw it when he was in a some kind of ship, and people it would look like some kind of storm, mm-hmm. right? Or some the kind storm of storm, or maybe his ship was right. Was and then there's like hammering of some kind of grate, and then this the, uh, looks like a slave. Oh, the hold, he, slave hold. Yeah, yeah. Like and then he starts talking to him, and then he does have a quote that he said, "I know things about the dead." Yeah. So I feel like he's already dying and come back. Yeah. That's my prediction. Okay. But I wonder if it's. I mean, I don't. Well, okay. I just, I just think this is going to, to be more of a. He, not like zombie he doesn't bleed situation, but more of a like, he died for a minute and decided to come back. Yeah, I don't think he's been, he was dead for like a year. You know, so he's like legitimately still, like he's not Maybe like, he just went underwater and they well, resuscitated him. I mean, yeah, like, they resuscitated him. He died him. and they, they revived him and now he has a connection to the dead. Yeah, yeah. Possibly. I think it could be that <laughs> as opposed to like... Or, he hey, who knows that he was even longer. talking to any of those dead people? Maybe he was just going because crazy and hallucinating. When he, when he snapped out, all of their sheets were on. Yeah. Oh, right, which right. means maybe yeah, none of that of ever happened. Were on it. He had pulled sheets off of everybody, and he, when he snapped back, when the when the tall dude walked away, and he like kind of snapped out of it, all of the sheets were on everybody. So. But he also said he didn't have any guilt or fear. Is that just him trying to talk himself out of whatever's happening? His PTSD, mm, that's or is he that? Like, I I mean that does sound kind of yeah, like he he. I, I as of right now, I kind of feel like he was just hallucinating that whole thing. Okay, okay. that's <clears> my <throat> theory, but we, we don't think, know. Yeah, it's still too that early was a to tell. I agree, but I also really kind of don't. don't get the feeling, and and you know maybe this is just because I think he's fabulous, but I kind of get There's the feeling awesome that. that he is like accepting of these visions, like mm. he's not yet scared of them. So he's okay. kind of like, look, like I'm trying to do stuff. But, like, I'm not afraid of you, so you need to, like, don't do this passive-aggressive, like, mm. haunting bullshit. Yeah. Tell me what you want, and we'll fix it. Right. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. That kind of seems like his attitude. Like the ghost whisperer, maybe? To, uh, yeah, let's get some, okay. some what's-her-face in here. Yeah. yeah. Sarah Michelle Gellar? Is that? No, 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 the brown one. Uh, what? J. Love Hewitt. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Jennifer Love Hewitt. That's yeah. sorry. brown? Her oh, the brown ghost hair. whisperer. Her yeah. brown hair. That's what uh, So, I'm skipping the other thing, because it was just a... <coughs> Sister and dick face. Yeah, and, that's the, uh, and then we go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, we skip. We skip the part where he goes to the beach <coughs> and he encounters this man with the teeth. Man with teeth. Terrible teeth. Terrible teeth. Like the worst. Terrible. Teeth. And, and like a lot of. I'm them. feeling. He's a spider. No, it's a freaking mosquito that's been floating in here for the last twenty minutes. Okay, okay well, we're gonna get it though. Yeah. Mark, it's, like right now. Mosquito. Is okay, great. No, it's, I. Can't so as long as it's not a spider, I don't care. No. Uh, or a roach. Uh, um, so that he, so he then we find out there's there's this kid that they've been taking care of, right? And he which, has, they have not paid for. I want to go back and listen to because we see the man on the beach say, you know, your father left him. I've been taking care of him since your father left. Yeah, and I think it was before he died. I think when he went mad, or maybe when James left. I think it, no, I think. It's when he left. When James left. He'd been taking care of him since James left. See, well, okay. is getting it. Um, so, and, and, and he wants uh, reparation. Of course, right. So then we're taking care of we him skip, this whole time. We see James, uh, James Harding, not wrong person, <laughs> Tom Hardy riding on a beautiful white horse to this windmill, this cottage somewhere out in the countryside. And he brings him apparently a shit ton of gold. Shit ton of gold. Right? Past, present, and future. And then he yeah. asks if he wants to see the boy. And he's like, yeah, show me the boy. I am thinking, prediction, that is a love child between him and his half-sister. 
Like, I believe Ooh, that that's yeah. true, but for yeah. some reason I thought that would... they said this <clears throat> is your father's son. Yeah. I heard but that too. that may be what he told I don't know why everyone's first, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but everyone's first instinct was to go, incest! incest. Yeah, we watched yeah. a lot. Because it's taboo, lot it's lot called taboo. Yeah. Uh, he may have told him, this is my dad's son, illegitimate son, please take care of him, we can't have, he's a bastard. Yeah, and but, that, that makes sense. But, but so. yeah, he didn't, you know... I mean, I mean, if he was illegitimate, I guess not. But otherwise, he would be an heir, and he would have, as a boy, he would have rights over his sister, right? Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. second to the older brother, right? So, oh, so that's another reason why I mean, they would. That him may away. be a twist. We find out. Oh, he... that could be good. That would be another reason why Tom would, uh, yeah, James would have been like. Here, take him. Here's an illegitimate. If he well, was yeah. a real son, but James died while he was gone, right? right. They, he wouldn't want that. Them may be to a twist where he because has to... he loved the sister. Mm-hmm. That and may he be wanted a... her to get the stuff. Sorry. No, that's fine. I, I just wanted to finish my story. No, go ahead. That was it. That oh, because that may be a twist later. Like that's actually not my dad's son. That's my son. So I am still. Yeah. It all will be revealed. Um, we, oh, okay. And then scene 10. Uh, so we find out. I think that's his illegitimate. I think that's his son or his sister. Uh, and the next scene, he he meets the, the trading company in their hoity-toity office. He tells them yeah. to fuck off. Basically tells them to fuck Well, they want to buy the land for reasons unknown. We think it's because it's a stronghold. Why won't he look in the envelope? We, we think it's a stronghold <laughs> for trading from China. Well, that's what he tells yeah. them. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. He's like, it's for China. Yeah. You know, but, but I don't, I think, personally, I think James has other motives than trade. Well, there's something well, there. He, he knows it, something well, about the place. Go ahead. His mother's family. Right, okay. His mother's tribe, and I think that's where all the Speaking to the dead powers come from. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's definitely like the the base of this kind of supernatural situation also, is going to be like his mother comes from this tribe, tribe yeah. and she was bought, which they made a big deal about, where Brace didn't know that James knew mm-hmm. that she was bought to okay. be the wife, mm-hmm. and so there's For this bees. whole like. What? For beads. For beads. For beads. Yes. And gunpowder. And gunpowder. And gunpowder. And but so... given the area of the country, what could also be there? Gold. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's absolutely. true. Uh, but he also mentioned to Sir Charles Galahad, I don't know what his name is, guy in the wig. Whatever. Eyebrows. Uh, that he mentioned some kind of evil that they both recognized and knew, and that he's that they both have seen this evil. Wait, we both was know. This? There was like one of those monologues he had. He's like, That's "You trained me, oh. and you taught me about the something with a million ears and something with a million eyes. We both oh. have seen the same oh. evil. You know which what evil I talk about." And yeah. they kind of looked at each other like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like well, they had a mutual I understanding. Feel like that evil was the um, the British Navy, really? Yeah, because he was in. Right, yeah. He joined he was... the Navy under that guy, and mm. that guy taught him the Navy ways. Mm. Right. And, you know, I, that seems like a way that they would talk about the Navy, because it's all well, encompassing. Not, not the Navy, the East India Company. Yeah. It wasn't the British Navy. Hmm. It was the sh- it was the shipping company. I'm curious to know what that reference is. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like yeah, that's something because they both they, they, didn't, they didn't mention it. They just looked at each other and they didn't say anything. So I feel like they all but had it a, meant something. They had an understanding of I see you, like I understand, but I still want your fucking land. So yeah. he doesn't accept the money. Everybody, all the hoity toys get upset because no one's ever very upset. And he mentions he did this the modern way. So yeah. I guess is he's gonna do this like the the ancient way is just by death, like just to kill him. That's like a yeah uncivilized way to take someone's shit is just to shank them. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I never had I to mean, shank anybody. Yeah. So, you know. Well, I think okay. it was like we tried to sit down and just talk to him. Right, and give him money face. and buy and him now out. now we have to, like, fight him legally or fight him physically. I don't think or... he's in there going to take him to law. Then they're going to try to kill him. This is oh, actually well, law and order. Yeah, it's just, just it's just, yeah. order. It's a big courtroom <laughs> drama. And then we and then we found out we added it up. They had three fucks in this episode. They did three, three Two fucks, fuck and three fucks. fucks, one fuck. 
So if you're offended by the word fuck, you probably shouldn't watch this. No, oh, yeah. All right, so uh, summing everything up, at the end we get a secret letter from Girl in the Black Dress, his half sister, that there's some secrets that we still don't yeah, know about, yeah, and yeah. that she trusts that he's going to keep the secrets and not tell anybody. I think she's gonna tell people. I don't think he's gonna even mention it about. I, mean, yeah. I don't. I don't know. I, don't know I mean, what I think. I think the big secret is they were in love. They had sex. They had a kid. They are shameful people. Mm-hmm. All right, it's been a great discussion sure. with Jeremy. Just, yeah, so make just, sure to leave yeah. your comments in the section below. We'll discuss them for next week. Keep yes. watching Taboo. I'm going to keep watching I'm Taboo. I'm going to keep watching. Oh, yeah, we'll keep watching uh, it. Definitely. So uh, until then, let's all raise our glass. Let's do what we do the best do we know it. how. And now, now our watch, watch is ended. ended. Now our watch is ended. We'll see you next week, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, YouTube. We're shutting my shit down. Thanks. Thank you. Bomb.com. Oh, I forgot to hit record. Oh, son of Did a you? bitch. But see, that's what I was...